Good evening, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of Carolina Panthers Talk, brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming. I'm your host, the one true Blitzball Champ, Jason Ingram, coming at you once again from the U to the two. So, the Carolina Panthers' final preseason game has wrapped up, and... We definitely saw some things, great, good, and some bad, in this final preseason game. So, let's jump right on into it. So, Carolina Panthers, at home, defeated the Pittsburgh Steelers by a final score of 34-9. to Now, one of the things that was noted is that the starters, the the number ones, with the ex exception of Christian McCaffrey, played the entire first half on offense and defense. Of course, the Steelers did not play their starters this game. They played mainly their twos, threes, twos and threes, pretty much. But let's let's look at some of the bad that um, took place in this in this game. So let me pull everything up. So one bad I want to mention. Third down efficiency, still bad. Five of 15. You know, yeah, it was better than the Steelers, but still bad. Still bad. Five of 15, still bad. Um, let's see. Next. We really got to do better as far as keeping our foot on the gas. Like, that's one thing I noticed near the end. Started playing conservative, took our foot off the gas, and I, I don't mind too much that, you know, we did allow a score, but I felt like taking the foot off the gas with what the offense did Especially with this being preseason, I just don't think was a good thing. See, it's very minor. Don't get me wrong. It's very minor. I just felt like they needed to keep their foot on the gas, especially considering they were playing their threes in that final quarter. Third, Chuba Hubbard. He's got to do a little better on his with his hands. He, he dropped some... Dropped some catches there. Dropped a few catches, but still had a pretty decent game, especially in the run game. But got to work on his got to work on his hands a little bit. Brandon Zilstra, he needs to go. He needs to go. I am not convinced that he can really do anything in the receiving game. Now, I mean, special teams. Maybe they might still keep him from that. But me personally, I think with the depth we have at wide receiver, I think we can afford to let Brandon Zilstra go. Had a lot of drops tonight. I'd say he, he, he needs to go. Next. Ryan Santoso. Okay. Don't get me wrong. He did make both of his field goals, but let's keep it real. That first field goal attempt, he was lucky that it hit the crossbar and it went in. That was not a good kick. Let's not fool ourselves. That was not a good kick. So before we get so quick to praise Ryan Santoso, he almost was one of two tonight. And that was a bad kick. But it does count because it went in. So technically, he was perfect tonight. Two of two. It's cool. But just know, that first kick was a bad kick. Let's not kid ourselves. That first kick was a bad kick. Another bad Oh, man. And even Steve Smith said it himself afterwards. Stick a fork in him. He's done. Yep. I think it's official. 
Joey Sly, he, he, he's out. He's out. Mr. Field goal, 0 of 1, hit an extra point, but yeah. I, I saw, uh, I think it was J.J. Jansen that was on the bench with Joey Sly uh, praying for him. And, you know, I hate to see it end like this, but we, we got to be honest with ourselves. Joey Sly, just, he, he lost his job. He lost his job. Um, I do hope he does get picked up somewhere else, ASAP. Because, like I said, I like the guy. I like his story. And, you know, it's unfortunate, you know, to see somebody you like lose their job. But we got to keep it real. Joey Sly has been in a slump ever since last season. And has not been able to bounce back from it. And it showed during this preseason. Had a last-ditch effort. And failed. And, and and I think he realizes he he's lost his job. He he's realized he's lost his job. But I wish him the best though. I just hope that he can find another position or you know find another team ASAP. You know what I mean? <clears throat> another bad Shy Smith. I really really hope that he's going to be okay cuz that's that's a big loss. That's a big loss. I don't know if it was his foot or his shoulder or whatnot, but I hope it's not too serious that he'll still be able to play during the regular season at some point. But th this one hurts. This one definitely hurts. Um, Shy Smith only had two catches for, uh, I believe, for 21 yards. Yeah, for 21 yards, uh, one of the catches being a, a first down so that that was really cool but it sucked to see him get hurt so i i really hope that that shy smith will be okay um another bad so we only had one sack tonight when really and this might be an exaggeration we really should have had like five sacks tonight there were so many missed opportunities where the quarterback was grabbed and he got away. So we really should have had like five sacks in this game. Of course, YGM got the one sack, but we should have had a lot more. Realistically, we should have had a lot more. But those are pretty much those are pretty much the only bads that I could really think of. I mean, we did well as far as lessening, lessening the penalties. Only had three penalties for 15 yards, so only three penalties. We had 25 first downs, you know, which I think we only had eight in the previous game, so that's a huge improvement. So, I mean, you know, even with, with a small handful of bad, Let's talk about the good and the great. So, let's start with Sam Darnold. I mean, yeah, say what y'all want. Oh, it was the ones against the twos and what whatnot. But they granted our wish. We got to see a half of Sam Darnold. And he finished 19 of 25, 162 yards and two touchdowns. He did get sacked once. But... A rating of 119.1. Two touchdowns. A pass to Terrace Marshall Jr. And a pass to his good old buddy, Robbie Anderson. Sam Darnold had a good game. Now, I know there's quite a bit to factor in. You know, this, like I said, I understand this was him throwing against the twos and, and threes. But... Sam Darnold looked very confident. He looked comfortable in the pocket. Had some great protection, even in that whole first half. So he made some great throws. Made some great throws. I think the one 
throw he made that was like high and overhead, I, I think that was pretty much maybe like the worst throw that he made all, all night. And I think he only pretty much made like two bad throws. But Sam Darnold looked great. And I think we should we should take that as a victory. Despite this being preseason, despite this being ones against the twos and threes, this is a moral victory for Sam Darnold. <coughs> At the same time, now he is going to be tested. Because in the regular season, it's going to be the ones against the ones. So we'll see how he does. But this is a this is a moral victory for Sam Darnold. And he looked good out there, and I think he should be given the credit. Despite how we may feel about him, he looked good tonight, and he performed for, for a whole half. Uh, Spencer Brown had a great game. 11 carries, 57 yards, uh, a rushing touchdown, was able to break off one. Uh, Chuba Hubbard got some action, 10, 10 carries, 35 yards. Uh, DJ Moore um, pretty much caught every pass thrown to him. Uh, six receptions, uh, 48 yards. Um, Tommy Tremble. Tommy Tremble with the concentration catch falling to the ground. Two receptions, 45 yards. Uh, had two really nice ones, too. Um, Terrace Marshall Jr. showing once again, looking really good and, and got into the end zone on a nice uh, wide receiver screen. And just looking really good. I'm really having a lot of good feelings about Terrace Marshall Jr. He could end up growing into a, a future number one. Or, maybe, heck, even a two. I think the sky's the limit for Terrace Marshall Jr. If he can stay healthy, dude is going to contribute. Uh, Dan Arnold. Dan Arnold. Had uh, three three catches, 25 yards. That's a couple of snags there. Um, Robbie Anderson had the other uh, receiving touchdown. Two catches, 15 yards, but a nice catch in the end zone. But for the most part, the offense looked great. Overall, the offense looked great. Uh, kind of struggled a little bit. In the beginning, getting into the end zone, you know, failed on a fourth down attempt. Questionable play calling there. But they were, they were able to keep it going and pick themselves up, especially with how the defense played, you know, kept getting the ball back into the hands of the offense. So the defense, yeah, let's talk about this defense. Um. Oh. Before I go to the defense, I'm going to say this one thing. Y'all might think I'm crazy, but I'm going to say this, and I stand by it 100% with my whole heart. Will Greer just saved his job. Change my mind. Will Greer just saved his job. Y'all can say what y'all want, all well and good. Will Greer, tonight, saved his job. I understand he was only 5 of, 11, five of 7, 47 yards. He did get sacked once. Had uh, three, three rushes, 22 yards, and uh, a rushing touchdown, which was a 24-yard rushing, rushing touchdown on a scramble and he looked like he was like Cam Newton, Teddy Bridgewater, Russell Wilson, whoever you want to say. And he got in the end zone untouched. And this is actually his first touchdown ever. Yeah, it wasn't a passing touchdown, but this is his first touchdown. Period. And in the previous game, even though he didn't score or turn the ball over, he still had decent numbers. And, and I could be wrong, but I wholeheartedly believe Will Greer just saved his job tonight. 
he he just he saved his job. And I truly believe he will make the 53 man roster and they're going to have three quarterbacks. PJ Walker, I have no doubt will still be there. I I think he'll still be there. Um he was 5 of 10, 83 yards. But I'll say one more time. I believe wholeheartedly Will Greer just saved his job tonight. Moving on to the defense. Defense was just wow. We were able to get three turnovers. Uh, let's see, it was two fumbles and an interception. Yeah, Brian Burns, Spider-Man with the interception. Um, of course, um, went off the receiver's hand, fell in the right place at the right time and snagged it. So that was nice. Um, whoever did the peanut punch for one of those fumbles, I, I didn't catch the name of it. I know um, Keith Taylor recovered it, the rookie cornerback. But uh, I was trying to see who uh, who did the peanut punch, because punch, that was pretty much the peanut punch. So whoever saw the game that, that saw that, let me know who, who forced that fumble, because I didn't catch it. I didn't catch the name of, of the person who caused the fumble. So please let me know. So a little note there. For all that saw it, let me know who caused that fumble that uh, Keith Taylor ended up scooping up. And, of course, Keith Kirkwood... Uh, Picked up the first fumble, which I thought, you know, he recovered and scored, but I guess they ruled ruled it down when it was uh, recovered. But three turnovers, very nice. Uh, a couple of good things. Dante Jackson with some nice open field tackles. Sto the third, Stanley Thomas Oliver looking good. Keep an eye on him. He could be molding into something special. Keep an eye on, on STO. He, he's looking good. More and more, he's looking good. I think he'll eventually work himself into a future starter. If, if Carolina holds on to him, he, they keep developing him, he could be a breakout star in the future. Keep an eye on him. Uh, J.C. Horn. J.C. Horn was looking pretty good uh, on coverage. Uh, let's see. Of course, YGM got, got the one sack. Uh, Frankie Louvu was getting quite involved. The leading tackler uh, was Sean Chandler with five total tackles. Um, but Dante Jackson had the most solo tackles. He had four solo tackles. Dante Jackson was, was just on point. And just... Miles Hartsfield even had had a few highlights there looking looking good. Jeremy Chen had one or two highlights. So I mean, overall just the defense, the defense looked great. Not to mention Steelers only had 9 first downs and were 2 of 11 on third down. Defense did a great job tonight getting the ball back into the hands of the offense. So really good showing by the defense. Definitely was loving it. Um, I do feel like maybe David Moore probably shouldn't be on kickoff returns. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Um, I think I'd prefer CJ Saunders on both uh, punt return and kickoff returns if they do, if they do decide to keep them I, th I think that'd be good definitely think that'd be good but but yeah defense look really good but this was this was a good final preseason game victory for the for the Carolina Panthers and now they got a they got a lot of decisions to make now because now the next objective is, you know, winding down to making the necessary cuts to get to 53 men on your roster. But overall, I was definitely pleased with the overall effort. You know, team looked good on offense, defense, special teams. 
you know, it was kind of a bummer. They did give up a touchdown near the end, but I mean, hey, it is, it is what it is. But a lot of, a lot of great things happened tonight. I mean, Sam Darnold played well. You know, good pass protection. Uh, defense getting turnovers. Good, good way to end this preseason. But now, <clears throat> gotta start preparing for the first regular season game against the the New York Jets. And I strongly feel like we we have no business losing that game. And I and I still stand by that. I I still stand by that. But <clears throat> and like I said, I hope that Shy Smith will be okay, because I like the guy, as I'm sure a lot of others do. But I, I hope Shy Smith will be okay. I hope it's not too serious of an injury and that he'll be able to play some during this regular season. I mean, they could definitely use him. But, and, you know, we didn't see any Christian McCaffrey. He wasn't suited up. But I'm looking forward to game one or it's week one, but yeah, good game, Carolina Panthers, getting the uh, victory on the last preseason game, but yeah, let me know what y'all's thoughts are, what did, what did y'all think about this game, what did y'all think about what y'all saw on the field as far as performance, offense, defense, special teams, uh, who do you feel pretty much guaranteed makes the team who do you think is is gone just you know for sure is gone what do you who do you think me personally i think it's the only two that i can think of that i feel will be cut brandon zilstra joey sly you know and it's like i said before yeah ryan santoso was was two of two hit a 52 yarder but let's not kid ourselves that 52 yarder only way it went is because it hit the crossbar and it bounced in. But that was a bad kick. But yeah, let me know what y'all's thoughts are. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Carolina Panthers Talk, brought to you by Blitzball Champ Gaming. I'm Jason Ingram. Hope everybody has a blessed weekend, and I will see y'all soon. Peace.